So, I was scrolling on an X, when eventually I came across this post by fellow YouTuber Narfi. I just launched a working Minecraft instance with both Forge mods and Fabric mods. Replay mods on Forge is a game changer for me. Now this of course really intrigued me. I knew about attempts to bridge the gap between Forge and Fabric mods, but none of the methods I ever tried ended up working. But here it was. Proof that it is actually possible. So I did a little bit of Googling and research. And today I'm going to show you how to let fabric mods work on Forge. I do want to remind you to subscribe to my channel. You would help me out so much by doing that. And a very big part of my viewers is still not subscribed. So please check if you are. And then without any further ado, let's dive right into this. So the mod we will be using for this is called the Cinetra Connector. And it is a Forge mod that will allow you to run fabric mods on Forge, which is absolutely legendary. Now, before we're getting into how to exactly set this up, it is very important to read the beta state notice. This mod is in extreme beta, you could say. It only works for a specific version of Forge, also a specific version of Minecraft, and even if you grab all the right versions, there's still a big chance it will crash with a lot of mods. At the bottom of the mod ring page, you will have the mod compatibility thread. In there, you will see a couple of mods that this mod has been tested with. So for example, the Signature Connector will work great with the Immersive Portals mod, but it will not work great with Sodium, as it conflicts with Forge's early loading screen. Now, you can see that this list is rather small, and also the replay mod that Narfi pointed out is not in this list. But here it is proof that he got it working. So let's go and set up the Sinitra connector all the way from start to finish using the default Minecraft launcher. What you want to do is first of all download the newest version of the Sinitra connector itself. So we're simply going to go to versions and then we're just going to download the newest one. You can see it says beta under every single version and this is because this whole project is still just in beta. So if a specific fabric mod doesn't work for you on Forge then that is totally understandable. It is still just in beta. Anyway, we're gonna download the newest version. And after that, you wanna click on the second link in the description that will take you to the Forgeified Fabric API. So the Fabric API is, of course, an API you need to install for most of your Fabric mods to work properly. But the regular Fabric API is, of course, for Fabric. And we're gonna install all of these mods on Forge. So we need the Forgeified Fabric API. Simply download the newest version here as well. And then I also want to get the replay. Play mod. Every single version here above 1.12 is for Fabric, so how epic would it be if we can get it working on Forge? So we're simply gonna download this one, there we go, and now after downloading I'm gonna drag all the three mods on my desktop. Now next up we of course want to install Forge. Now I'm gonna do this all on the default Minecraft launcher just so anyone can follow this tutorial. But if you're using any other clients then the process will be the same, it will just all look a little bit different for you. But we're gonna download Forge. And this is really, really important. The Sinitra connector will not work on the latest version. So we actually want to click on show all versions and we want to scroll down all the way until we see version 47.1.1. At least at the time of recording this video. Make sure that before you actually download that version, you check the Sinitra Connector mod ring page. So over here it says that this is the version of Forge it was made for, and this is the version of Minecraft it was made for. If at the time that you're watching this video, it says another version over here, you want to go with that version. So 47.1.3, I'm simply going to click on Installer, and we're going to wait for a bit and click on Skip. And after that, it should download. There it is. So now what we're going to do is simply double click the Forge installer. So you will get this cute little screen. Over here you just want to select your Minecraft directory. And over here you want to select install client. Then click on OK. And after about 30 seconds it should be successfully installed. So now that that's done it's a matter of installing the mods. So you want to go to your Minecraft directory. AKA the place where your Minecraft is installed. Now by default you can get there by typing percent app data percent in your Windows search bar. After doing that, it will open a roaming folder and somewhere close to the top, you should see a folder called .minecraft. If you open that one up, there should be a folder called mods. 
If there's no mods folder for you, that means you've not booted Minecraft with Forge or Fabric before. And you can simply create a brand new folder here called mods. For me, it's already here though, so I'm simply gonna open it up and then drag the connector, the Forgeified Fabric API, and of course, the replay mod inside. After doing that, you want to boot your Minecraft launcher and you should see a new installation called Forge 1.20.1. So then we're simply gonna click on play. Yes, Mojang, I know. I know, it's fine. And your Minecraft Forge should just boot normally. And there we go. In the bottom left, you can see we're running Forge 47.1.3. And what is that? Hey, is that the replay mod icon? <laughs> that is interesting. So when we click on here, you can see we got the replay mod settings. And then when we go inside of a single player world, so let me very quickly create one. Look at that. The replay mod is recording. How epic is that? In the game menu, I will be able to pause the recording or just stop it. And when I go back to the main menu, there it is. It actually works. I can load it and everything will actually work the way it should. Now you might be wondering, Kasasora, why don't you have any skin here? I actually don't know. <laughs> Absolutely no clue what happened a minute ago, but uh, my skin works perfectly fine now. I just rebooted my game and I'm totally fine. So don't worry, it still works. And that is gonna be everything for today. I really, really hope you enjoyed watching this video. If you did, do make sure to subscribe to my channel. You would help me out so much by doing that. You actually would. And then I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye.